on my screen i have a table which has got few numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10 and then until 15 if i ask you in this table how many columns you have you will answer me 1 2 3 4 5 so there are five columns how many rows we have 1 2 3 rows we have in vivi.net is there a way to understand if a table is provided what is the length of columns what how many columns i have and how many rows i have yes so there is a method i am going to show you let's first write console dot right line i'm using a console app and here i would say let's i would like to print number of rows okay how many number of rows it has i want to print i'll use a plus symbol i'll use a plus symbol and then i'm going to take the variable name what is the variable name table dot there is a method you need to remember there is a function you have to remember which is get length what is it get length so what this get length would do it can tell you how many rows and how many columns it has so what do you do after writing get length use a parenthesis and within the parenthesis if you would like to know the rows you have to write zero okay because it's entire thing is a string i'll convert this to string because that will come in a double or integer value so i'll convert this to string similar way let's say i would like to know the columns copy paste and we will change the value here saying columns very important when it comes to column what is the value you have to provide one so zero represents your rows one represent your columns that is the only thing you need to remember now if i am going to run this let's see how the output is coming so what it said the number of rows you have is 3 correct 1 2 3 and number of columns you have is 5 clear so we got the output now let's say let us change it let me add 1 1 0 at the end so let's say i am putting one more zero here comma and the length of the array has to be the same so you can see everywhere the red mark has come because i have added two zeros extra zeros here so the length has increased okay so what is the length now oh, sorry how many number of columns we have we have six columns at the moment so let me run it what is the output number of columns is six number of rows remains the same what if i am going to delete this particular row the third row i am going to delete okay so now how many rows i have i have two rows so the output should be number of rows is 2 number of columns is 